All right, so today I thought I would jump on and film just a quick video of decluttering my bronzers. So I had a realization the other night that bronzers are my least favorite step in the makeup process and I have way too many because I don't really even like bronzers. I'm serious, I don't like it. And this is way too many then for someone that doesn't really like the step. Um, and I also want to point out that these are not all of my bronzers because I have blush palettes or face palettes that have things other than bronzers in it. So this is just going to be my singles and then any of my contour palettes. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to go through and pull out like my favorites. So the ones that if I didn't have them today, I would rebuy. So the first one that comes to mind is the um, Do The Hula Bronzer by Benefit. I actually used to not like this and after trying it some more I really like it so I'm going to keep that and then um, I do like cream products in general so I'm going to keep this bare skin little sample bronzer here this ColourPop um, this is actually a blush it's their blush in aphrodisiac but I use it as a bronzer so I like cream products I'm going to keep that I really like the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. I like that it has a little more depth to it. It's not just flat. So I'm going to keep that one. What else? I really like the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. So I'm gonna be keeping that. Let's see, I really like this one. This is by, I got this in an Ipsy bag, but it's by Lisa Frank. But it's actually a really good bronzer. It's kind of light. That's the type of bronzer I enjoy. So I'm gonna be keeping that one. This Laura Geller Bronze and Brighten. I love Laura Geller, Laura Geller products, so I'm going to keep that. Um, let's see what else we have here. I'll just lay them all out. Okay, so I should just be honest. I really like Bare Minerals products. And so, like, in all honesty, I'm not going to get rid of any one of these. This is, like, their Soft Focus Warmth. This is their Perfecting Veil, but it's in their bronze shade. So I'm going to keep that one. And then this is like a blush. It's called Ginger Spice, but on me it would probably be a bronzer. So like, let's just be honest. I want to keep those. So I'm sure we'll get to some that we get rid of soon. Um, this one here, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. So I have this palette right here, which is like the Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzers. I'm going to be keeping this one. I'm also keeping this one though. I do take this one with me when I go places. Like if I'm going to go somewhere, I've taken this one so many places because it's so easy and I can't really like overdo it on this one. So I know that might seem silly, but I'm going to keep um, both of those. So let's talk about ones that we could get rid of. So for sure, like I would get rid of this one. This is like a Kardashian beauty one. Um, it had a really beautiful finish, but then it broke and I repressed it. So I should just be getting rid of that one. Um, this one by Paula Dorf, I got it in an Ipsy bag. I've never used it and I don't plan to. Um, this one by Pacifica, it's called Natural Beauty Sun Kiss. This, is, this one is kind of like the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. It has a little bit more depth. So since I have that one, I'll get rid of this one. Um, this Jelly Pong Pong one, it has a bronzer and a blush in it. I'm actually going to keep that one. And then Bahama Mama. Should I keep this? Is this good? I mean, I feel like people talk about it, but like, again, with bronzer, it's like, it just doesn't excite me. It doesn't. I'm going to keep it. Oh, this is a problem. What's going to happen when I declutter makeup I actually like. What happens then? This one is by Ciate. It's pretty. It has a little bow in it. That one's pretty light. I actually don't hate that one. Uh -uh. Okay, this one, this bronze essence, I want to say like I either got it in an Ipsy or a boxy charm. Um, I'm going to get rid of that one. This pure sculptor palette. It's just too dark for me, like there's two highlights in there, but I don't need any more highlights regardless. So I'm gonna get rid of that. That's something, right guys? Got 
heard of something. Ah. Um, this Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild contour palette, I'm going to be keeping this one. I like that. Um, this IBY Beauty, it's a contour palette. I really like this. I got it in a boxy charm, I want to say, and I wasn't excited about it when I first got it, but I have used it and I like it, so I'm going to keep it. And then my TARDIS contour palette, I'm going to keep. I love this thing. So that's not too good. That's getting rid of two like palette items and then three singles. I'm going to just take another peek again at these if there's anything I can get rid of. Like in all honesty, I just want to keep these. I like them. And these. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to keep them. <laughs> 